Okay, today we will talk about formant filters, but not in the way you expect. Most of us might already be familiar with the concept of uh, um, formant filters applied to those synthesis techniques that create voweling sounds out of a synthesizer. We partially tried to do that with Fumana some years ago, and I will link to the video here and in the description. Today we will use Gunsa, but we will not dive into the voweling territory. I am deliberately doing a little bit of teasing right now, but I want to wait a little bit to before diving into complex four filtering. And I thought that we can start introducing the topic by focusing only on one out of four filters. If we take the chapter on multimode filters on Alan Strange's electronic music, we can read something very interesting. He says that the multimode filter can also be useful in producing formants. And then he says, a formant can be described as a favorite frequency or spectral area of an instrument, acoustic space or circuit. Whenever any signal's spectrum contains a space or circuit's formant frequency, that part of the spectrum will be boosted. Equalizers are usually used to compensate for a room's formant by attenuating that particular part of the spectrum. A formant filter or a multimode filter used the right way can simulate these formants to provide a more lively sound, if that's what you want. What do we say? Is that what we want? I would say yes. He says, the technique is as follows. Mix the high, low and bandpass outputs of the filter in equal proportions. The results so far will seem redundant because high pass plus low pass plus bandpass equal the original signal, but now Q can be added and the various output pass bands can be attenuated to produce some rather unique response curves. Let's see. So first of all, I would like to duplicate my final output and uh, keep a dry track for reference, so to speak. And we will patch it here. It's gonna sound like this. Let's spice it up a little bit through the wave folder circuit. There. And then I will use a copy of this channel here and patch it to Kunsa's filter number one. Um, I won't give too much gain. I will set it roughly at three o'clock. And uh, I will uh, set the filter to its most boring setting so far. And uh, then I will need the three cables and I will patch the outputs to three channels, to the other three channels. This is the high pass, this is the band pass, and this is the high pass. Let's hear them individually. This is too high. May need to compensate for the different gain, but I will do that as we go through the instructions. And then we have the high pass. Let's try to hear them together. This is how they sound. Hmm. More or less the same. Now let's follow Alan Strange's instructions and add some character to boost the resonance and some Q. I set the low pass filter to 12 dB so all of them will have the same slope and let's see what Ah, nice! It really sounds like a room. Let's try with different settings. Okay, cool. Let's extend this patch 
by using the Usta sequencer as a controller. It really sounds even if I'm listening to, through my headphones, it really sounds like it is playing through, through the air in a room, as opposed to the dry sound, which is this one. I think that this can be an effect, and this can be useful under certain circumstances, but we can also take it even further and instead, using, instead of using the formant technique uh, to recreate or to create fake anomalies in the sound that we are, were supposed to correct through an EQ, we can uh, use it to create an artificial uh, kind of motion. Because if we move right now our cutoff frequency, and if we change our format, which is something that would be possible, would be impossible in the physical world, I think that we can create a very cool effect. For example, we can set our track B on the Usta sequencer to a uh, middle voltage, like 5 volts, and then play with the variation index and variation range, and then patch it to control our cutoff frequency. Like this. Maybe that's a little bit too much, so we can reduce the variation range. And this was our teasing to four months, but I promise you the next video will be on the voweling sound that we can get out of the Kunza filter. For now, I hope you found this video useful and I will see you next time with more ideas.